Today, we become legends. Yep, you read that right. Today we're going to cover how every assassin in Smite works in 30 seconds or less. You won't find anyone else on YouTube insane enough to make these kind of videos, so if you want to see more, then definitely drop a sub and join the Nay Nation. We'd love to have you aboard. But to avoid extending this video any longer than it already will be, let's jump in with our first assassin. Arachne. Arachne is a rushdown assassin focused on high single target damage, strong early game and strong snowballing. She falls off quite a lot late game and lacks AoE damage and big CCs. She excels with power, attack speed and penetration, but usually doesn't need protections, health or cooldown reduction. To play around Arachne, stay near teammates, pick up slow immunity and play careful early game. If you enjoy running people down and strong early pressure, you'll like Arachne. A Wheelix. A Wheelix is a mobility heavy character that plays for big burst damage on strong CC. She has a knock-up gimmick and is stronger on teams with knock-ups or against teams with many jumps. Her best stats are power, penetration and cooldown reduction. She usually won't need defense, attack speed or health. To play around a Wheelix, save beads for her ultimate and avoid putting your back to her as that's how she gets her combos. If you enjoy a challenge and like gimmicks, a Wheelix is your gal. Bakasur. Bakasura is a basic attack focused rushdown and burn god with very effective farming techniques. He will typically play passive and farm early on then come out swinging in the mid to late game with strong auto attacks. He uses attack speed and penetration as his core stats with a bit of power mixed in as well but usually won't need any protections, health or cooldown reduction. The best way to deal with Bakasura is to save escape options for when he ults. Once he's used it he's in a pretty bad spot. If you enjoy vomiting your way to a ranked win, try out Bakasura. Bastet. Bastet is an ability based burst assassin that likes to all in and overwhelm opponents with her insane damage. She has decent mobility options and some of the strongest burst damage in the game but lacks good CC to lock down targets. Her best stats are power, penetration and cooldown reduction, she usually won't need attack speed or defense. A well timed escape option or Aegis is your best bet at dealing with Bastet but be careful with grouping up as she has very strong AoE damage. If you like a glass cannon AoE burst damage dealer, Bastet might be for you. Kamazots. Kamazots is an ability based assassin with a strong focus on lifesteal and healing. He has great backline dive potential but is severely lacking in CC options. His best stats are cooldown reduction, penetration and power with a secondary focus on lifesteal. He can also work well with some defense in his build but attack speed usually won't be necessary. Kamazots is very versatile in his build pass and can be played a number of ways, so if that's what you like, give him a try. Daji. Daji is ability based with a focus on dot damage. Her core stats are power, penetration and cooldown reduction, with defense not being necessary most of the time and attack speed being pretty ineffective for her. She plays heavily around her ultimate but is not completely reliant on it and has pretty unconventional movement options. Lacking hard CC in her base kit means the best way to deal with her is to force her ultimate defensively and then play keep away after that. Then Fenrir is a quite versatile ability based god with a secondary focus on lifesteal. He uses cooldown reduction, power and penetration if you lean more towards damage but can easily shift towards bruiser or tank by building more defense and health. I wouldn't recommend attack speed on Fenrir though. Cripples, jumps and saving your beads for his ultimate is the best way to play around this god. If you like a versatile jack of all trades type character, Fenrir might be for you. Hoon bats. Hunbats is ability based and plays largely around his ultimate. It's one of the most powerful ults in the game and defines his playstyle. His base kit can hold its own too though and his best stats are power, penetration and cooldown reduction. He can sometimes make use of defense but won't need attack speed. The best way to play around Bats is to minimize the value of his ultimate by not grouping up and saving your CC immunity abilities or relics for it. Kali. Kali is an auto attack focused hyper carry assassin that has a weaker early game as a trade off for her monstrous late game where she can often win fights on her own. Her best stats are attack speed, penetration and a little bit of power. She usually won't need defense or cooldown reduction in her builds. The best way to deal with her is to force her into bad fights early and mid game before she gets her build online in the later stages. Loki Loki is a stealth assassin with a focus on both abilities and strong basic attacks with AA cancelling to do his damage. He uses power, penetration and cooldown reduction as his best stats but can also go bruiser with some defense and health if he's playing solo lane. Attack speed isn't something I would recommend on him though. To play around Loki, listen for his stealth audio cues and try to save relics and movement abilities for when he goes all in. Mercury! Mercury is a basic attack focused hyper carry that provides massive damage on each attack with the use of crit chance, power, penetration and movement speed stats. Usually you won't need defense, attack speed or cooldown reduction on Mercury. Playing around Merc can be difficult, but forcing him into bad fights early on similar to Kali is a good way to do it and buy upgraded shell or other block stack items to counteract his strong basic attacks. Naja. Najar is a mostly ability focused assassin who's strong throughout the entire game. 
He uses a wide variety of stats, with power and penetration being his best ones, but cooldown reduction, defense, and even crit can be useful depending on the role he's in. Make sure to keep beads for his ultimate, it's cleansable on reaction if you're fast enough, and spread out to not get hit by his ring multiple times. Nemesis Nemesis is an interesting one in that she's kind of a hybrid between a basic attack and an ability focused assassin. Power, penetration, and attack speed are all great for her, even a small amount of cooldown reduction or defense can work too, hell she can even build crit and do well. Make sure to CC her shield and not just attack into it, plus wing blade or any other slow immunity is very useful against her. All of her CC and lockdown is reliant on slow, so if you can counteract those you'll do pretty well. Pele. Pele is an ability based assassin with high burst and a secondary focus on sustain. Her core stats are power and penetration, but she can build into some defense or lifesteal too. Pele is somewhat of an all-in aggressive character with limited defensive options and CC, so the best way to deal with her is waiting for her to waste the ult and then punishing her for it. Ratatosker. Ratatosker is an ability-based assassin with strong mobility and a focus on his Acorn gimmick, which gives him four unique effects to choose from. This means his key items vary based on the playstyle and Acorn that you choose, but he usually goes for power, penetration and cooldown reduction if you're going damage, and protections and HP if you're building more tanky. Watch out for Rat's semi-global ultimate if you're fighting him. Raven. Raven is a mostly single target high burst damage assassin. He uses power, penetration and cooldown reduction, can flex into a little bit of defense if you need to, but won't need attack speed. Raven has an ability that makes him immune to all damage and CC, so watch out for that when you're fighting him. Sir Kit. So Kett is a highly versatile assassin that can both build tanky and burst damage. Naturally, she can use power, penetration and CDR, but also defense and health. So Kett has built-in complete anti-heal in her ultimate, so if you're a god that relies on healing, watch out for that. She's also extremely high mobility and will be able to chase or run away forever, much better than a lot of other characters can, so keep that in mind. Set. Set is a basic attack ability damage hybrid assassin with strong carry potential. He can invest into full damage with power and penetration, but can also go more tanky with some protections and health. It depends on his role and playstyle. Try to avoid boxing set for long durations, and if you see him activating his ultimate, just keep away from him at all costs and try to wait out the timer. His ult is where a lot of his power comes from. Susano. Susano is an ability based assassin with both pretty strong AoE and great single target damage. He also has solid mobility, but does lack a bit in terms of defensive options. His best stats are power, cooldown reduction and penetration, usually defense and attack speed aren't necessary on Susano. Try to avoid grouping up against him, especially when his ultimate is ready. Thanatos. Thanatos is an ability based assassin focused on strong early game damage and pressure. He uses power, penetration and cooldown reduction, you get the drill at this point, and can flex into some defense later in the game if necessary. Watch out for Thanatos' insane early game damage from Death Scythe and be aware that he has a percent health execute in his kit. Thor. Thor is an all-round ability-based assassin with good single target damage, decent AoE, solid CC and great mobility. Because of this, he is one of those assassins that can build full damage with power penetration and cooldown reduction, or go into more defense and health, it depends what you want from him. Watch out for Thor's global mobility, double tap and stun lock combos. Tsukuyomi Tsukuyomi is a glass cannon ranged assassin with very high damage, decent CC, great range, but lacking in defensive options. He uses power, cooldown reduction and penetration as his best stats, and generally doesn't want defense or attack speed. Suku's biggest weakness is his weak defensive tools, so forcing him to play defensive is your best shot at dealing with him. And that's it, every assassin in Smite explained in under 30 seconds. Let me know which class I should cover next down below as I plan to make this a series, and if you enjoyed the video then please do subscribe to help us on that road to 100k. But that's it from me, have a great day, and peace out you nerds.